parents need to know. Good evening, everyone. I'm Pat Harvey. Juan is off tonight. We begin with new reaction after the father of a local Marine killed in Afghanistan was thrown out of the State of the Union. Stephen Nikui was arrested by Capitol Police. His son, 20-year-old Lance Marine Lance Corporal Kareem Nikui, who was from Norco, was one of 13 U.S. service members killed in a 2021 suicide bombing. And KCAL News reporter Nicole Kopstock is live in Norco now where she spoke with the mother of the fallen Marine. Nicole? Well, Pat, most people here in Norco know the name Kareem Nakui. The post office here in town was even recently renamed after the fallen Marine. Tonight, we spoke with his mother about why hearing the president speak strikes such a sensitive nerve with their family and what they want the country to know about their son. Year before I took office, murder rates went up 30 percent. Calling out the president during the State of the Union. The biggest increase in history. That man shouting was Steve Nakui, a Gold Star father from Norco in the Inland Empire, where the post office has a memorial plaque bearing his son's name. And he was arrested for misdemeanor obstructing after yelling what sounded like Abbey Gate, 13 Marines, and Kareem Nakui. How are you going to arrest a Gold Star father? Why would you think that's even okay? Shanna Chapel is Kareem's mother. He was one of 13 service members killed in an explosion at the Kabul airport in 2021 as the U.S. pulled troops out of Afghanistan. He has the right to speak out. He's sitting in the same room as the very man he knows is, he knows is responsible for the death of his son. And you're going to arrest him for speaking out? Kareem's death traumatized their family so deeply that a year later, Kareem's older brother, Dakota, took his own life. Shanna says she's glad Kareem's father cried out about their son on a national stage so the world won't forget what it means to die for this country. She feels like the president has. Biden, he hasn't acknowledged our fallen 13. He hasn't acknowledged the 18 wounded. He's never said any of their names. He just acts like they're nothing. They're disposable, replaceable. Steve Nakui attended the State of the Union address as a special guest of Florida Congressman Brian Mast. Mast is a decorated Army veteran himself who lost his legs to an improvised explosive device in Afghanistan. Mast has since posted online, the sergeant in arms is holding my State of the Union guest for yelling at POTUS in protest because his son was killed in action at Abbey Gate due to Biden's incompetence. So much for the right to petition our government for the redress of grievances. And this is the plaque right here in front of the post office with Kareem's name on it. His mother says he absolutely loved being a Marine and would have been disappointed to see what's going on in our country today. His father was charged with misdemeanor obstructing and was quickly released. It is a charge that typically is resolved with a $50 fine. Reporting live in Norco, I'm Nicole Comstock, KCAL News. Nicole, thank you. Well, President Biden is